Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we are back in Larville Fawcett. We're going to be checking out how the accounts changed, looking at the mining game, and basically looking overall, is Larville Fawcett profitable? So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto-related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so as you can see, we are here in Laurel Fawcett and I just want to do a super quick update and the basic purpose of this is to go through uh, my account and to show whether or not Lava Fawcett is actually profitable and is it worth using. Okay, but before we get into that, for those of you that are not familiar with what La with Lava Fawcett and what the mining game is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two links in the description. Now, those links are going to correspond to the last two videos that I've done on Larval Fawcett and on the mining game. Go and check them out. That's going to give you a better idea of what the program's about, how to get things set up, and basically just gives you that bit of a head start when it comes to using this. Okay, so also as well, if you go right the way through to the end of this video, those links will be there also, so you can just click straight on them and get watching. Okay, so... The last time uh, we did a video on Laurel Fossil, I think was uh, just over a week ago, possibly two weeks ago. And if we go into the mining game, we can check out um, the miners. So in the last video, we had the Vegas uh, 480 at level 3, which is still the same. We had uh, the RX T. 280s and both of those were at level 2. You can now see that I've upgraded them both to level 4. Now in um, the last video we were earning about th just over 1300 uh, coins for 8 hours uh, with the uh, level being at 2. As you can see we are now earning nearly 3000 coins after we've upgraded twice to get to level four on both of these okay so is like i say the main point we're looking at is is this profitable so i've got a lot of numbers written down here so bear with me but what you've also got to realize is the numbers i'm going to be telling you are the numbers that correspond to my account so obviously if you want to work this out for your personal account you can follow sort of how I've done it and then work out where you're at with that okay so to start with uh, also as well I actually run this twice in a day so each fill of energy is eight hours. So I'll get up in the morning, I'll cash out, and then I'll refill. Uh, and then in the evening, I'll cash out, and then I'll refill. And I'll do so. I do that twice in a day. Each refill, like I say, will last you eight hours. Okay, so eight hours worth of earnings. So basically, the first run will earn my account. 6,047 coins between the three miners. Now, like I say, I do run this twice, which then gives us a total of 12,094 coins for the 16 hours. But that is before we have removed the cost of energy. So the cost of energy for the first run for eight hours is 3,264 and then obviously for the 12, uh, for the 16 hours, so that's both runs, equals to 6,528. So in a full day, so that's after two runs, we make a profit of 5,566 just from the miners. So that's in one day, running it twice, 5,566 coins just from these miners. But like I say... That is my account. 
Okay, so then what we've got to look at is the rest of the stuff that then goes on top of that that we find in Larval Fawcett. Now, Larval Fawcett has numerous ways of earning coins. And we can see that if we just go into the offer wall. So in here, uh, you have all these, which are different uh, survey places. I don't do any of these. I do not do any surveys whatsoever in Larval Fawcett. So what's the next thing we look at? Tasks. Okay, so we have engaged hits, which I do do. Uh, we've also got Jungle Survey. Again, I don't do that. Asia Mag, I don't do that. Bits Wall, I do do this, right? <laughs> so uh, I'm sure some of you with weird sense of humor probably understand what I'm laughing at. Uh, so anyway, if we go in here... I've already done this, but what you'll find in this visit websites is literally a list of websites and it, they all have buttons just saying click here or click or whatever or visit. And each one, it's not like short links, each one you'll go through to a website, it gives you a counter of about 10 seconds and then something will pop up on the screen with literally it's a spot the difference. All you've got to do is click on the item that is different uh, and then it will just say, yeah, brilliant. And then you come out of that and then you go on to the next one. So it's really, really easy to do this. Again, all this is shown in more detail in those early uh, two videos that I talked about. So if you're not quite following what I'm saying, don't worry. You can go and check them out and have a better idea uh, visually of what I'm actually talking about. So that's what we do. So we do all the websites in here in Bitswall. Uh, like I say, I do do engaged hits, but we're going to talk about that later. So we'll also do the faucet. So from, so yeah, actually, let me, so we'll also do the faucet. And basically you'll come in here, you basically, you'll do like a solve capture or a recapture. And you can earn between 50 to 2,000 coins uh, but I've found that it normally averages out about 100. So sometimes you might get 50, sometimes you might get 150, sometimes you might get a little bit more uh, or a little bit less. I tend to find that it averages out at about 100 coins. Um, okay, so the next thing that we'd be doing is, uh, so the PTC ads... So these can change. So in, the, in, in here, we only had two. Sometimes you might find you've actually ha you've got five. And each one of those might give you anywhere between 100 to 200 to, e to 50 as this one is shown. So it can go up and down. So obviously the amount you're earning from the PTC ads will fluctuate. But I've worked out what the profit is just on the 150, which is probably actually the lowest that you'll probably find in here because normally there is a lot more ads. So 150 is a good marker because it's on the low side. So you can, you'll can you still get a good uh, idea from that and the, obviously the thought that you're probably going to get more as well. Okay, so we've done the PTC, I've done the faucets, I've shown you what I do in tasks. We don't do anything in the offer wall because it's pretty much all surveys. And then we've got the short links. Now, the great thing with this is I have noticed, with the exception of AdBull, uh, all of the other ones that we do normally have seen to have stopped doing this ridiculous thing where they're making us do numerous amounts of recaptures. Normally, over the last two days when I've done them, the most recaptures I've had to do is two on either on any site of the ones that we normally do. Again, the ones that we normally do, and this will be shown in more detail in those two earlier videos. Now, the ones that you can see left on the screen or the ones that I advise you not to do, especially AdBall, because they are still being absolutely ridiculous and making you. I did this, I did it the other day for the last day. This was two days ago, and I actually ended up doing close to, I think it was about nine or ten I had to go through before they finally verified it and allowed me to collect my coins, which is absolutely ridiculous. That is just AdBall being 
amazingly greedy uh, because there's no need for that. There's absolutely no need for that. And these other ones I tend to find I, I steer clear from because they will sometimes just send you to websites that have no link on them so you can't claim anything. They'll send you to um, bad websites with malware on, all that kind of stuff. So these ones I totally... I basically say to you, steer clear of, do not do these ones. Okay, so that is everything with the exception of engaged hits uh, that I do. Because we're going to talk about, like I say, I'm going to talk about engaged hits in a bit. Not in massive detail, because again, if you want any detail on engaged hits, that is also discussed in those first two uh, videos all and basically all it is is you just watch videos that's that's what you'll do but you can check that out in those earlier two videos so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the numbers on what each of these things I've just talked about will bring you okay so bits wall which is in the tasks right so that normally gives you an approximate of about 150 to 200 but again when I'm working out the total, I've actually put 150. Because I, I, I would sooner underestimate and for you guys to go, actually, yeah, that's pretty decent. Knowing in your head, you might well end up with something a bit more than overestimate and you'd be disappointed. Okay, so what we're saying from Bitswall is I'm basically working out that we're earning 150 coins from Bitswall, which literally will take you about two minutes to do. Okay? So, with the faucet, like I said, the faucet can fluctuate, but I've, so that's this one here, I've worked it out at an average of 100, and because obviously I come in, I only come into the, my account twice in a day, so that's 200 that will be added to the final profit. Okay, so the short links, what we're looking at now, I... I've worked this out, so I actually went through all of the uh, short links today, and I had already got I'd already got thirteen thousand eight hundred and thirteen in my account. So basically, when once I finished doing the short links, obviously I deducted that from what was in my account, and then that gave me a profit of 4,280. So from doing all of the short links, minus these ones, will give you 4,280 coins. Okay, so what does this equate to in total? So like I say, so you get you get in 5,566 from the mining game. But obviously, that's me. That is based on the workings out of my account and the miners I have. So I, that's what I'm getting. It's 5,566 profit from the mining game. I'm then getting 150 from Bitswall. I'm getting 200 because we come in here twice from the faucet. And then we're getting 4,280 from the short links. Now... I know not everybody does engaged hits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the profit just based on what I've told you. Okay? So based on what I've told you, not including engaged hits, I make a profit of 10,346 coins per day. You, with the miners I have and then doing the things that I'm showing you that I do. And remember, I'm not doing any of the surveys. I'm not doing Asia Mag. I'm not doing the other stuff. Uh, just what... But if we add in engaged hits as well, that is an extra... Where is it? <laughs> Find it on my sheet of paper. Uh, so... Yeah, here it is. So, engaged hits gives us another 5,100 coins. If you do it as often as I do it. I do it about, I run it about six times a day. The reason why I can do that, and it does not affect the rest of my um, work, is because like I told you, 
I actually have it on an old mobile phone so literally I'm just stood at my desktop computer on what I can see on my mobile phone when it needs refreshing I refresh it when we're waiting for the half an hour counter to run down when that gets to zero I can start it again and because I'm doing that it does not affect anything else I'm doing but I can because I'm on my computer all the time I can just keep running it and keep running it I know not everybody can do that a lot of people don't have spare mobile phones and stuff like that so obviously I realize I might be building up more than most but still so I feel especially now that the short links seem to be going through a lot quicker and again, check out those earlier two videos because they do talk about using pop-up blockers and ad blockers which help you with those short links and help speed up that process a little bit more as well and tries to avoid any uh, pop-ups uh, that you don't really want. Uh, although you will find that you get some, just not anywhere near as many as you would do if you weren't using those uh, little extra add-ins to your browser. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to say here is for the time I spend on Laravel Fawcett, I do feel that it is well worth putting the time in. Also got to think with the other three faucets that we use, uh, CoinPot, um, Auto Faucet, and uh, the Express Crypto Faucet, with all those put together, we are earning some serious coins, and all we're putting in is a bit of our time and effort to building them and then obviously what we can do is what I do is then we can invest those coins into other um, programs that give us more profit such as roller coin dual mine all these kind of things and just start building that profit more and more and more and at the end of the day we're not sacrificing or risking any money uh, from our banks all that we if anything goes wrong all that we stand to lose is the time and effort that we have put into building up those coins okay so we've played the mining game we've done bits wall we've played the faucet and we've completed all of the short links and we've got a nice lump sum of coins in our account and after all that effort, what's the one thing that we want to see? And that is a nice and quick withdrawal into our faucet pay or into our Crypto Express wallet. What I will say with the withdrawals on Laravel Faucet is obviously they give you three options. One is faucet pay. One is Crypto Express or Express Crypto, should I say, Express Crypto. Uh, and then this, the third is the direct withdrawal to an external wallet, not to a um, like a, a multi-coin thing like Faucet Bay, but to actually like a mobile wallet or something like that. I personally t would say never ever use the direct withdrawal from Laravel faucet or even any of these type of faucets even like uh, auto auto claim faucet uh, anything like that do not use the direct withdrawal I tend to find it causes more problems uh, and delays uh, I will always always say either use faucet pay or express crypto basically because it's instant uh, and there never ever seems to be any sort of a problem or I've never experienced any sort of a problem withdrawing from uh, here into either of those wallets. Also as well, I do advise, do not allow your coins to build up to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of coins before you withdraw. I would advise you to withdraw your coins every single day into your faucet pay or your express crypto unless obviously you're saving up to buy miners but when you would want to withdraw just make sure you're withdrawing regularly and keep those amounts down to a reasonable level and you shouldn't experience any problems whatsoever okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and do a withdrawal okay so here we are in the withdrawal and you'll see that for the 18,000 credits that we have earned, we can either have 515 BTC, 
118 Litecoin or 24 Doge. I have been recently just withdrawing Litecoin all the time, so we're going to continue with that. So you just fill out the caption. If you can spell. <laughs> and then, like I say, here it says direct wallet. If you click on there, you've got Express Crypto, uh, Express Crypto and Faucet Pay. I'm personally using my Faucet Pay account. I tend to find that that, well, actually, I, I have prob no problem with either. I just, for some weird reason, have decided to use Faucet Pay. So I don't know. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> we're using Faucet Pay. So then, and then just click withdraw. And it just flashes up at the bottom. This goes zero. You know that your withdrawal has gone through. And as you can see here, we're showing zero in the account. Now, if we go through to Faucet Pay, you can see here, this is what I've been I've withdrawn recently. Uh, obviously, I've bought miners as well, as I told you. Uh, but this is what I've been I've withdrawn recently. So we're nearly at a million Litecoin. And then if we... So 822,000, we've just withdrawn another 118,000. So if I just refresh this, there you go. So we go up to 939,720. Like I say, those reasonably sized withdrawals, if you do that every day, you will never, you should never experience any kind of a problem getting your coins from Laravel Fawcett into your wallet. But if you start, building up to the point of where you've got hundreds and hundreds and thousands of coins then i've heard people are having issues with uh, delays withdrawals being pending so like i say just if you're going to bank a withdrawal make sure you're doing them relatively regular to keep those coins down to a reasonable level when you withdraw to faucet pay or express crypto and do not use the direct withdrawal uh, because i just find it just causes more problems than it's worth okay so i'm going to leave that there if you are interested in those earlier videos they're probably on your screen right now so get clicking and get watching and if you can smash that like button really supports my channel which then helps me bring more content to you so take care have a great rest of your week and i'll speak to you soon thanks a lot bye